The facial muscles used when closing the eyes can be seen, although they are very thin. There is a thin skin, and the tissue under the skin is the subcutaneous tissue. The subcutaneous tissue consists of fat, so it is yellow. The muscle under the subcutaneous tissue seems reddish. Do not forget that the skin, subcutaneous tissue, and muscle are in that subsequent order. The sternocleidomastoid muscle, which can be seen most clearly, is a muscle that is used for rotating your neck. The trapezius is a muscle which gathers the scapula medially, and the deltoid muscle is a muscle which spreads the humerus laterally. You can still see the sternocleidomastoid muscle. You can see the humerus and the two muscles that move it. These muscles are the pectoralis major and the latissimus dorsi. You can also see the biceps brachii, which is located in front of the humerus, and the triceps brachii, which is located at the rear of the humerus. The biceps brachii flexes the elbow joint, and the triceps brachii extends it. The biceps brachii and triceps brachii is a more accurate word for the shortened terms biceps and triceps. Around the ulna and radius, there are many small muscles that move the wrist and fingers. Deep back muscles can be seen behind the lumbar vertebrae, and these muscles straighten the waist backwards. On the contrary, the rectus abdominis bends the waist forward. The muscle behind the hip bone is the gluteus maximus. When you receive an injection on your buttocks, this shot is being given to your gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus behind the femur flexes the femur backwards and the quadriceps femoris in the front of the femur flexes the femur forward. The quadriceps femoris not only flexes the femur, but also extends the tibia and fibula. To explain this in easier terms, it is used when kicking soccer balls. The quadriceps femoris consists of four parts just like its name suggests. The biceps femoris flexes the tibia and fibula backwards. The reason why the insides of the bones look red is because of the bone marrow which produces blood cells.
The gastrocnemius is the muscle located right under the femur. When the gastrocnemius is contracted, you can raise your heel. The tendon of the gastrocnemius muscle is called the calcaneal tendon. If the calcaneal tendon is cut, you cannot raise your heel, thus being unable to walk. The bottom part of the metatarsal bones is the sole, and at the sole there are muscles which move the toes.